But first, here's what's hot, brought to you by JMMB Group, your best interest at heart. Investors will now have more time to trade on the JSE each day. The Jamaica Stock Exchange extended trading hours from three and a half hours to five hours. The new trading hours are now from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. each weekday. The agency also officially implemented a T plus one settlement cycle. The settlement date is when that trade becomes official. The move to a T plus one cycle means it will only take trade one day to be settled. Managing Director of the JSC, Dr. Marlene Street Forest, said the move will increase liquidity in the market and allow investors to receive cash quicker. NCB Financial Group is giving investors more time to participate in its additional public offering. The APO was extended by a week with a new closing date set for Monday, June 3. NCB said the extension was in response to requests from investors for more time. The company is offering 78.5 million newly created shares and applicants in the general pool will have to pay $65 for each share. Investors must buy a minimum of 100 shares, followed by multiples of 10. Omni Industries IPO is now closed. According to the company, the IPO which opened on May 17 was oversubscribed and closed on May 22. The company is expected to release the basis of allotment soon. The manufacturing and distribution company wanted to raise $500 million to help upgrade and purchase new equipment. The new Polymer Bank notes make up 87% of the currency now in circulation, the Bank of Jamaica said. The upgraded notes began circulating last year. BOJ Deputy Governor Natalie Haynes said the old notes are being redeemed at BOJ. She added that the central bank has a two-year timeline before demonetizing the old notes. TikTok reportedly plans to lay off a large portion of its 1,000-employee global workforce. The layoffs are expected to hit teams that handle user support, communications, content, and marketing. TikTok's current global user operations team will reportedly be dismantled as part of the move. The remaining employees will be distributed among the company's trust and safety, marketing, content, and product teams. According to CNN, the job cuts are not linked to the company's potential ban in the U.S. What's Hot was brought to you by JMMB Group, your best interest at heart. <laughs>